Hello my friends, and today we are going to unpack new drone Saima X8SW And if you are still here, let's see what's hiding in this big beautiful box So apparently in the big box you will find two smaller boxes In the first one located drone main body, 2000 mAh battery that is already installed inside the drone Four detachable legs and HD camera that can transmit video right to your phone The design of the drone body slightly reminds of DJI's Phantom If it's fair to say, since almost all drones design remind each other. In the upper part located power button, LED indicators which determines the direction of the drone in space and places where we'll lately attach the propellers. On the bottom part you will find another four LED indicators covered with the lamp shades, four joints for detachable legs, camera connector and slot for the battery. Important to notice that the battery is firmly secured in the tray, however it's very convenient to extract it by simply pressing the button. HD camera can be easily attached and detached to the drone in no time. The second box accommodates 8 propellers, that means that 4 are going to be in use and 4 remain in reserve. It also includes 4 protective frames, 4 rotor blades cover, card reader, charger with 1.2 MPA output, screwdriver, wrench and of course remote controller and detachable phone holder. In the assembled state, the drone has dimensions of 50 cm in length and 19 cm in height. It's far from the biggest drone I've seen, but not the smallest one as well. Just perfect size for a drone that you can use outside. To operate the drone, you will have to download Saima FPV application to your phone from Saima's official website and then connect it to the drone via Wi-Fi. It's not hard and application will even give full manual how to do that. So in general, I have a very good first impressions about the drone. The device has very solid build, attractive simplistic design and it's very easy to assemble and connect to your phone. Basically, at this point I haven't found any drawbacks worth mentioning. So in general I have a very good first impressions about this drone. The device has very solid build, attractive simplistic design and it is very easy to assemble and connect to your phone. Basically, at this point I have not found any drawbacks worth mentioning. I am Elijah, hope you've liked our unpacking and assembling video of Simon's News Drone. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press little bell button down below to receive notifications about our new reviews. Thank you for watching and farewell.